Okay, perfect. So in here at the very, very top, this is what I let, I love about Kartra because even when you get your friends going, even if, if if you ever got like another agent going, you can always like share the funnel with them or even sell them the funnel. Like, because what I just, I'm going to walk you through what I just sent you, but it saves you a ton of okay. time. So click on that available campaigns. And then it's that first one right there, the seller guide funnel. So just click on the dots, the three dots right there. And then you're going to click on accept. And then we're going to close this out and we're going to click the three dots again, and we're going to click deploy. And all you're going to do is just give it some type of prefix, some type of abbreviation. This is just the title of the page, the prefix, but you'll be able to change that once we get into it, once we start so editing. I call it seller guide so, funnel or no? That's the campaign name. So it's in that, it's in the campaign. That's the campaign name, but just the prefix, give it like a, just a something short. That's it. That's all you need to put. Oh. And then click the green okay. one import. Because you're going to change that. You're going to you're going to edit the t the name once we're in. Okay, so go ahead and close this out. X out this one. Now let me show you exactly what I just sent over. And this okay. is this is this is as 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 simple as it gets when it comes to capturing leads online, like running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever. And this applies to any business, not just real estate. At the end of the day, it's all about running an advertisement, getting someone to click on it, come over to a page and give you their information. And, okay. and, and normally, actually all the time, 10 out of 10 times, what's going to make that person a total stranger who doesn't even know you yet, they're seeing your ad in the newsfeed for the first time, or they may have seen a few ads because we're retargeting them. And maybe they, mm -hmm. they've seen a few ads and we just keep showing them more ads because they're looking at our previous ads which we'll get more into in, in the Facebook training. But my point is, is that as people start to see you and they don't even know you yet, what really entices them to want to click and give you their information is because you're giving them something, something of value up front for free. Right. And so at the end of it, it it's, it's that basic strategy and, and concept. And so at the end of the day, all it comes down to is what I just sent you, like exactly mm -hmm. what I just sent you. So click on my communications and I'll walk you through exactly what you what, what you just got. Oh, okay. Yeah. And can I ask you, can I change that picture? Oh, you're going to change all of it. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna oh, to change everything. So, yeah, for yeah. sure. We're going to make it look more Dallas and more Texas. And yeah, for sure. You could change it to anything. So okay. in, in my communications, as you start to get leads, those leads, you'll just see a long list of leads right here. And those leads will be from yeah. different, from different like campaigns, from different funnels. So, mm -hmm. so in here, you may see leads from your listing funnel, from your open house funnel, from your seller guide funnel, whatever type of page you're trying to get people to, you'll just see a long list of all the leads right here as you start, as the leads start to come in. But what I do, I don't like to look at it that way because I'm just seeing a bunch of names. I don't know who belongs to what, unless I click on it. So what yeah. I do is I click on list. So right there at the, on the, at the list, I want to click on list at the top. That's going to let me know what list I have. I have an open house list. I have a listing list. Maybe I ran an ad for a seller guide. That's my seller guide list. So go ahead and click list. Does it automatically populate or do you have to move them into it? No. Once they go to a landing page, they enter their name and email. That automatically, we, we, we dictate, we, we determine what list that goes to. So oh, okay. if I'm going to your seller guide page, that's the list I'm going to go on. If I'm going to your listing, because you're running a Facebook ad on a listing, I click on it. I go to your listing page. I enter my name and email. That email is going on my listing list. Okay. So we're going to create list for different pages for different, you know, campaigns. Now, in this case, we want to keep yeah. everything super simple and just focus on the seller guide. Um, mm -hmm. As we get that up and going, then I'll start teaching you listings and open houses and, and building out those types of funnels. Um, I have all of them already done for you, but um, we'll focus on this for right now. So here's here's what the list consists of. Two lists. One list for anyone that goes to your page and enters their name and email. All those people are going to land on the four home seller guide leads. But now you can okay. edit it. So just go ahead and edit it. Hit the pencil to the right. And let's just take away four home. So now you can edit it. You can let's just take oh. away four home and we'll just call it seller guide leads because it's exactly what it is. I got you. So and the you description that description is what a lead sees if they were to ever go and unsubscribe from your list. Debbie, Debbie okay. So if they were to ever unsubscribe, then yeah. 
that oh gosh, is the simple um, description that they'll see. What is, will they see? I'm sorry, something happened here. Yeah, go back to um, your Kartra. It says so, here, and so we're talking about, thank you for downloading my seven tips. Yeah, so whatever your, your or thank you for downloading my seller guide. You know, right. you, could, you could put Should that there. That? Yeah. Should I change? Yep. So thank you for downloading my seller guide. Thank you for downloading. Thank you for. Yeah, thank you for downloading. Um, sorry, let me. So, okay, thank you. For, oh, downloading. Yeah, thank download. you for downloading my seller guide. So that's just a brief description, a brief reminder, you know, of, of uh -huh. what list they're even on. Sometimes people, you might be 37, 37 emails down the line, and then someone finally goes and unsubscribe. They may not even remember what email list they're on. So that's just a simple description. Okay, but so Kartra puts, puts them in the right list based on the ad, right? not based on or, the ad, based on the page. So based on what page they go to, yeah, they're going to go to your seller guide page. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And, and so, so I know what they were looking at and what they were interested in. Oh yes. Heck yeah. Because they're on okay. a specific list. Yep. For sure. Yeah. So Good. Um, go ahead and click on edit and that changed out the name of the list, the name of the list, the description. Now the list is just seller guide leads and we'll yeah, do the great. same with the top one. Let's edit that top list. Let's take away for home and, and let's just name it because this list right here, this specific list right here, this is for people who schedule an appointment with you. So okay. it's not just for the Facebook ad. I use this calendar for everything. So all of my appointments with you, all my appointments, they land on this list. Okay. So that's just a way where let's say, for example, I want to send an email to everyone who has ever scheduled an appointment with me. That's mm -hmm. why I have this list. You know, okay. so, so go to name the list appointments or, or okay. clients who scheduled a call or scheduled calls or whatever. I mean, that's just name it, whatever you want, just scheduled calls or appointments, scheduled calls, just schedule, schedule, <laughs> schedule call appointments. appointments. Okay. And then thank oh. you for your interest in real estate. Like you can put something else, you know, you, you can leave that, whatever you can always change it later. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you for your, thank you for your interest. The, the U is missing an R. There you go. Thank you for your interest in real estate. Okay, cool. Now hit edit. Oh my God. I'm going to shut. Well, I don't know how I can shut my phone off, I guess. Let me do that. It may still read to your computer, but it's, it's fine. I don't, I think if I shut it off, it won't. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't, no, no, worries. Do no worries. No worries. Okay. So this will be that list. So now you have two lists and then that, uh -huh. so go ahead and click on edit the blue one. And those are our two lists and we'll come back blue to one. those lists. The green? Yeah, or green, the green, the green. Yeah, always hit a green. If you ever see a green button, hit that green button before okay. anything else. Okay, so those are our two lists. Now, blue. if you hover over communications right at the top, hover over communications, you have broadcast sequences and automations. So we'll get more into automations later, but broadcast and sequences, the sequence is the automation. So the moment they come and download your free seller guide, they're mm -hmm. going to receive an email right away. Hey, Stacy, this is Christine. Thank you so much for downloading my seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, 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 and this. Click the link below to download your free PDF. And also, by the way, make sure you check for my emails coming up because I have a lot of great information coming your way. Talk to you soon. And then a day later or maybe two days later, another email goes out. Hey, Stacy, just wanted to follow up this Christine. Hey, did you, did you, hopefully you got a chance to take a look at my PDF by now. And do you remember on page two, when I was talking about the importance of curb appeal and how much value that can bring to the overall price of your property? Here's what I meant by it. So from mm. email number two and on Christine, all you're doing really is breaking down that PDF. Oh, great. So, so that PDF, I would put it in your hands and just go through it. And I'd go through it page by page. And you're not rewriting the whole damn thing in these emails. You're just putting your own spin to it. If there's a, on page one, if it was, you know, two paragraphs or three paragraphs or whatever, I would just say, hey, John, and do you remember on page one when I was talking about the importance of a great roof and how much the roof means to the overall property? Like, yeah. I would just take little pieces of the PDF and put did it you and, and Yeah, did you on page five where it, uh, 
where it describes something or other. Yeah, I got you. Yes, yes. So All you have is... to do... What's that? So I have to do that. I have to pre uh, prepare the email that's going to go, yeah, right? Those are simple. Yeah, those are simple. Once you get that PDF and once you can look at that PDF and, and, and just take some pieces out of it and put it yeah. into an email, simple. And, and all, all we're doing, it's not a long email. It's just like a short email right. as if you were emailing a girlfriend. Like it's just, right. it's just something short, your personality and say, hey, by the way, do you remember looking on page three? Here's what I meant by it. And, and, and okay. so that's just like a couple sentences, a couple sentences referring okay. back to the PDF. Okay, this is email and number two and on. Yeah. Or I'm just going to send the email or does, is it generated by Kartra, but, I'm, I, but I compose it? Yeah, you compose it. It's generated by Kartra. This is sequences. This is sequences. So click on sequences. Click on okay. sequences. What I'm talking about is sequences. I'm talking about your automation. These are emails that are going to go out without you lifting a finger. All you have to do is compose it one time. So you compose it and you set up these emails. So let's say, for example, from email number two and on. Uh -huh. It could be it could be it could be number email number two of ten. It could be email number two of twenty. Whatever, however long you want to go with it. But here's mm -hmm. the here's the objective. As these emails go out from number two and on, remember email number one. I'm just simply emailing your PDF. I'm not trying right. to be aggressive. I'm not trying to go for the appointment. I'm not saying, hey, call me. No, it's just your PDF. Thanks for downloading my PDF. Here you go. You know, mm -hmm. it's just a friendly hello. Here goes your free offer. Thank you so much for downloading it. Click here. But the second okay. email, the second email and on is when you're breaking down different parts of the PDF with a call to action. So for example, email number two, hey, Stacy, do you remember on page three when I was talking about this, 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 and this? This is what I meant by it. And hey, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call where I can give you all my secret strategies on what it takes to sell your property at the highest point possible in 2021, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you could schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Like okay. little emails like that. Email number three, same thing. Email number four. And all I'm doing is I'm, again, a few sentences based on the PDF with a call to action to get you to schedule the call. And it's not a call to action in my email signature. It's not a call to action in the PS. No, it's a real call to action in the damn email. I'm telling you a little bit about page four and I'm saying, hey man, and by the way, I'd love to talk to you. You know, click the mm -hmm. link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. You know, so, okay. so I'm just yeah. kind of putting my own personality into it. I'm making it sound like a normal person. I'm not trying to be a robot. And and, right. and 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 the whole goal is to get you to schedule a call. So for email number two and on, I'm simply referring to the PDF, educating them a little bit more, and simply getting them to schedule the call. Okay. Okay. Those are your I emails. Your, sure, your you're going to tell me eventually how where I go to. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you all that stuff. I'm going to show you all that. So at the top, broadcast. Broadcast is when you can. It's when you want to simply send out an email to anyone on a list and these okay. people watch. So go back to leads and click on list at the top leads list. These are your two lists. As these leads, as these lists fill up, not every list is tied to a sequence. So for example, the schedule call appointments, there's no automated emails that need to go out. Those are just people who scheduled a call with me and I just simply have them on a list. That's it. The seller guide leads, those are people who downloaded my seller guide. And yes, those, those, that list is tied to a sequence. That list is getting dripped on for sure. A series of automated emails are going out to them for sure. So leads are going to get the, uh, are going to be uh, tied to a sequence of a drip campaign. What's that? Any leads, anything no. with a lead. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Not every lead. Not the not the scheduled appointment leads. No, those they don't they, need to be dripped on. Right. They just schedule an no. appointment. So, but that's so, a lead list. This one is right. Is yeah, exactly. Coming? So the seller guide leads. Yes, automated emails going out. A listing lead. Yes, automated emails going out regarding that listing. You know, if I go to mm -hmm. your page and I and if I see your ad and you're running an ad on a listing. And I click on it. I go to your web page. I give you my name and email because I'm interested in that property. I then mm -hmm. go onto this list. That list is tied to a sequence. Let's say I only have five emails pre-composed 
ready to go out every other day. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up this Christine. Hey, get a, get a hold of this. Last night, we had an amazing showing. I had seven families show up, blah, 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 right? So these are mm -hmm. automated emails that we can set. And, and with the listing, you don't need to set up 25 emails because that property is going to sell fast. So I just need right. a handful of emails in that case with a listing, for example, an open mm -hmm. house. Maybe, maybe, maybe I have an open house on Saturday. Right now it's Tuesday. We have an open yes. house. Let's say we have an open, open house on Sunday. We're running Facebook ads from Monday to let's just say Friday. And over the next few days, there's an automated ser a series of emails that go out leading up to the open house. But that list doesn't need necessarily need to be have, need, to, need to have 15 emails go out, just a handful, right? So right. It, just, it just depends right. on the campaign. A seller guide, seller guide lead, I'd have a ton of emails going out. Not every okay. day, but maybe every other day. Because okay. that's someone, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hot lead. That's someone who actually raised their hand and they said, hey, Christine, I'm interested. I'm selling. I, I could use that seller guide. They might not yeah. be selling now. They could be selling next year. Who knows? But at least, at least that lead was captured. And so if I can have a good amount of emails that continue to nurture that lead until they're ready, that's what I mm -hmm. want. You know, but again, a listing lead wouldn't need 15 emails, but again, maybe, maybe because, because, because if you inquired on a listing, you saw my ad, you went to my website, you put your name and email, you were interested in that specific property, that property mm -hmm. is going to go fast. And that property right. is only going to go to one family. But if I have 17 emails in the sequence, I could be dripping other properties on them. Sure. You know, okay. like, like I can, I can have email number seven go out. Hey, John. Hey man, I'm sorry. I apologize. But Hey, last night we went under contract. The family out of Dallas took the property and this is what it sold for. But Hey, take, take get a hold of this. I have a handful of listings, pocket listings that aren't even on the market. So make sure you check your emails over the next few days. Cause I'm going to be sending you some amazing properties and you're going to want to schedule a private showing that can be an mm -hmm. automated email that I wrote last month, okay. but it's so general and it's evergreen. Yeah. Right. It's like, right. so, so, so yes, these sequences. So you have the list and then you have the sequence and then you have the broadcast, a broadcast hover over communications at the top. You have broadcast broadcast mm -hmm. is, is a one-off email. So I could take any list. It doesn't matter if they're tied to a sequence. It does not matter. I can send out a broadcast. It's a one-off email anytime, hmm. like anytime to any lead, to any so list. I hope my whole list or I one can send it to the whole list. I can send it to the whole, the whole database. I can send like, like, let's just say, for example, something random happened in the market. Let's say all of a sudden interest rates went up to 7%. That's flash headline news. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll come in here, send a broadcast out. Hey guys, get a load of this, man. I just watched the news. Interest rates are now 7%, right? Like a one-time news flash type of email. Okay. That's a broadcast. So you send it to one person on the list or the whole list. Whoever. whatever you I could send to whoever I can send it to whoever I can send it to a list. I could tag my leads. I could tag them, put in a tag on them. Let's say for example, seller guide leads. We have a hundred leads that came in seller guide leads, mm -hmm. but let's say 20 of them scheduled an appointment. Now those mm -hmm. 20, they're going to be on the scheduled scheduled call appointment list, but right. they're also part of the seller guide lead lead list. Right. So right. I could send an email. I can send a broadcast email, for example, to everyone on the seller guide lead list who doesn't have the schedule to call appointment tag. Mm, okay. So there's a hundred leads on that list, seller guide leads, 20 of them scheduled an appointment. I need to send a broadcast to the 80 and those okay. 80 are going to be segmented by a quote unquote tag. So, oh, so cool. I'll go, we'll go more into tags as we learn more. I don't want to confuse you right now, but, but yes, this is crazy type of automation. Like we can, yeah, yeah we can segment this in so many different ways. Perfect. So, so, but, but right. I'm trying to understand, I'm trying to make you understand how simple that, how, how basic it is to, to, to make this thing happen. Like it's, we have, we have a list, we have an email sequence. We can send out a broadcast whenever we want to anyone on the list in the, in the, in the system. And then to the mm -hmm. left, we have my pages. So click on my pages. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the campaign is, seller guide, listing, open house, buyer guide, whatever. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, it comes down to these handful of pages. 
you have the you have the seller guide opt-in, you have the seller guide thank you page, and then you have the call confirmed. That email sequence, I'll explain that one. But it's really well, those three, opt-in, thank you, and call confirmed. So when someone goes to your car, your cart, your calendar, they put Tuesday at 4 p.m., schedule now. When they schedule, they go to that page right there. That's the call confirmed page. Okay. Which page? Oh, call right confirmed. here? Yep. This? Yeah, call confirmed. Yeah, that's it, call confirmed. So so you can change it out, image, the color. The t you could change out everything. I'm just giving you the skeleton, the blueprint. So, so X out of this. So at the end of it all, it's these two pages. It's the opt-in and it's the thank you. That's right. okay. that. So, so as I go to your opt-in and I put in my name and email and I download your free seller guide, I click the yellow button. I then go to the thank you page. Mm -hmm. That right there are, is two pages. That's the most important. That's what KV Core does not do. That's why KV Core does not work for Facebook advertising because as I go to a KV Core page, I enter my name and email or, or email and phone number, whatever the information you're asking for. When I click uh -huh. submit, it yeah. doesn't take me to a second page. What does it do? Where it, does it go? It, it opens up your homepage. It opens up that page that I was on. So it kind of keeps me on the same page. It just gives me more access to the information that was on it. Okay. So, so it gather your information and put it on KV Core? Yeah, it does. It does. But as far as Facebook advertising, with Facebook advertising, you need to take me to a separate page. This is the thank right. you page. This is a second page. Mm -hmm. With uh -huh. KV Core, you need to take me to a second page. There's no second page. Wow. So here... Yeah. I I'll need this, free. <laughs> this. This second page is the most important because those who land on this page are leads. That's what we got to be able to categorize when we're running Facebook ads. How are we going to know how much is costing per lead if we don't know how many people landed here? Right. If we don't so know who landed on the, on the second page. Right. So uh, if we're going to do my ad today, though, I really... No, we got we to gotta get all we this stuff going. The, ad, the, the ad's not going to go live right now. We got to get all this up and going first. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is, we got we to gotta, we gotta send them somewhere. We got to get this up and going. So, so X out of this. So this is pages. This is your pages. And then. Yeah, and these three things are on there, are, are on the, the thank you page. These this three is the boxes. Thank you page. This is the thank you page. Okay. We can go into it. We can change all this stuff. And that's what all we're right. going to do. We got to change all this stuff. So, okay. so that other page over here, the sequence, sequence one, what I okay. do with that. And, and you, you may not do that just yet. We can, we'll do that later on as you learn more, but the way I do it in my email sequences. Okay. The way I do it, the way I really take it up a few notches is when I send out, when my emails go out, my automated emails, okay, everything is automated. I don't send no emails unless it's a broadcast. With a broadcast, mm -hmm. it's a one-off email. I can, I physically manually do that. It's one email, just send it to who, who, whoever. But the uh -huh. email sequence, the automated emails, I have some list where I have seven emails that go out. One every other day after you opt in. I have some email sequences that have 37 emails in it. So, you can go as far as you want with those emails um, as long as you want. But, but here's what I do. Let's say, for example, I was giving you a PDF. In fact, this is exactly what I do in my business. I have my book. I have a PDF. I wrote a book for real estate agents. Um, uh -huh. and, and as I run ads to get people to download my book, same thing that you'll be doing, seller guides, same exact thing, same thing. As I get uh -huh. people to download my book, they go to my landing page. They then go to my thank you page. Now that lead is in my sequence. They're on my list, but they're for sure in my sequence. As my mm -hmm. sequence emails go out, yeah, I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you. I'm explaining a little bit about the PDF. So in my mm -hmm. PDF, I teach five steps, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. I teach five steps. And so, mm -hmm. so in my emails, I'm breaking down these five steps, but the way I do it, is I do it in video. So for example, email number email number two would go out. Hey, Christine, this is David. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my ebook yesterday, The Five-Step Blueprint. 
five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about step number one and how important it is for your branding and social media? Here's what I meant by it. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my video where you can watch me in action explaining step one. That's an email. When they mm -hmm. click on that email, go ahead and click on this sequence one. Click on that, that right there. Click right there. When they click inside of my email, it takes them straight to this page where it's me on video explaining step one. Okay. So rather than me just writing out what is on page three, me, I'm actually explaining it in video. Nice. And so in that video, I'm explaining that part of the PDF. And in that video, there's a call to action. Hey guys, mm. and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call where I can share my screen and walk you through all this stuff, click the yellow button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So I have emails set up that go on for days. Wow. And in my email, you click to watch my video. Mm -hmm. So that's just next level. And, and that's, that's the basic page that, that you would just duplicate over and over and over. That one page right here, you change out the logo, you change out the social media icons at the bottom, and you mm -hmm. change out the image in the back, and you, you give a headline, whatever. You know, page three of our seller guide. And that's Christine mm. on video for two minutes explaining page three and, 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 and verbally, visually telling me to schedule a call. Okay. That's a different email makes than sense. just your text. Right. Right. So, yeah, makes, so, so not fine. only, not only did my, not only did my, um, did that lead see me in the Facebook video ad, but they <laughs> also saw me on the thank you page. So X out of this, X out of this one. And click on, click on the thank you page one, the thank you, click on the thank you. So they saw me in the Facebook ad. They saw that video. They come to my, they, they come, yeah, they come to my, my landing page. They enter their name and email. They download the seller guide. They then come to the thank you page where they see me on video. They're and now starting to receive short, emails. Right? What's that? That's just a very short email. I mean, video, right? Yeah. Now they're, now they're seeing me on the thank you page in video. It could be as long as you want, as short as you want, whatever. But I'm just explaining the strategy, the concept. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so now they're seeing me on the thank you page in video. And then now they're receiving emails with me on video. Yeah, they're so, getting to know. Them. Hell yeah, they're getting to know me. They're falling in love with me. Right. <laughs> That's indoctrination. And they're not falling in love with me because because of anything. They're falling in love in the fact that they keep visually seeing me. So after yeah. and that's that's indoctrination. After a person visually sees you in video four to five times, they automatically psychologically start to like you, start to feel like they can trust you and start to feel like they want to do business with you just right. because they they're visually seeing you in video. Yeah. They want to meet you. Absolutely. That, that's it. And, 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 and with you marketing to a local area, that's magic. Like these ain't people that are going to be on social media all over the place. These are not people that are nationwide. And someone on your Facebook friend that lives in Nebraska is seeing your Facebook live on your personal Facebook page. No, these are people that live down the street. Yeah. And that's why, like, before you know it, I have some clients, Christine, that come to me and they're like, David, I was at the grocery store and someone ran into me and came up to me and said they saw me on Facebook. It's like that yeah. be, be, you literally become like a local celebrity. Yeah. It's a mini commercial. Well, I, I, I can understand that. Yeah. You know? I mean, I personally, that happens to me when I see people yeah. a lot. I feel like they're a celebrity. Right. And so mm -hmm. this is just the back end. The Facebook video ad, that's the front end. Enticing mm -hmm. them to download your seller guide. That's the bait. Once they download it, now this is all the back end. This is all the back end. This is where we get them to schedule a call. So rather than asking for their phone number up front, because very few are going to give you a phone number up front. Maybe if you're running an ad on a listing, yeah, that's a different type of, of, of urgency. That person, they see the property, you're running an ad, they go to your page, they'll give you their phone number because they're interested in that, in that listing. That's more of a, that's a different lead. But in this case, right. we're giving away a buyer guide. We're giving away a seller guide. That person's not giving you their phone number right now. Like at all, at all. So on the right. back end, this is how we get them on the phone. We get them to schedule the call with us. And when you have this pipeline full, 
and you have several of these emails automatically going out every day to let's just say 50, 60, 70, 100 leads, mm -hmm. you're waking up with appointments every day. Wow, I hope. Because it doesn't take that it sounds, many. It sounds a little hard, not hard, but of course, you know this. This is, um, you know, part of who you are now. Yeah. But it sounds like, uh, you know, will I remember to do this every day? You know, what no, you, no, what this is a one time thing. Once we knock all this out, this is a one time thing. It's a machine. Oh, really? we're, all we're doing is building the machine right now. Once we build the machine, there's nothing else to change. Maybe you might get sick of the picture and you want to change out the image. Simple stuff. Okay. This is, this is going to be super basic for you. Okay. You know, this is going to be super basic. It's, it's, it's just a machine. We build it one time. And then after that, then it just comes out of running Facebook ads. Like that's it. Okay. And Cluster it's, itself allows you to, to um, click a pic, put a video in there, just put it there. I mean, you don't have to do oh, a lot yeah. of editing. No, okay. not at all. Like the video that you have on your computer, we can just upload it right here to my videos, put it right there. And that's it. Oh, there's something for my videos. Yeah. Okay, so, good. Like, yeah. There's so exit good. of this. So right here to the left, my videos, that's yeah. where your video would go. Oh, okay. So you just simply upload your video and, and, and that's it. And then when, once we go into the page and edit the page, we just put that video right there in that spot. Okay. Simple. Well, I'll just I'll have to do some more videos, but okay. Yes. So Which so, I'm enjoying now. <laughs> I'm enjoying doing them. So oh, good, I good. Be more natural next time. Do you have, you have your seller guide in PDF? form already I, I do okay let's upload that let's click on your this is where your 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 pdf is gonna is gonna is gonna live is on on Kartra a copy of it so all you'll do is click on my memberships to the left and then click on files right there at the top click on files and yeah. all you're going to do is upload that file so click on the green square to the right bottom right and then click on yeah, the upload. And then right here, you can just hit the drop down and put no no site in particular. You can just hit the hit the drop down or yeah, no category, no category in particular. And then just hit upload file. Okay. Hope it... And all we're gonna do is just hit the green button next. And now we have the file on Kartra. So here's all we gotta do is now we're going to just copy the link and we're going to put that link. So there it is right there. So to the very, very right, all you're going to do is hit that link to the left right there, that link, get URL. So we copy it, go ahead and copy this long link right here. And then let's just open it up at the top, open up a new tab at the top and just make sure that that's it. Okay. Yeah, copy the whole thing. Okay. So copy that, open it up at the top. In a new tab. Wait. Oh, so, in a new tab. Yeah, open up a new tab. Just paste it and just make sure that that opens up. Make sure that that's the full PDF. Just paste it in right there. Okay. And then... Um, you want me to open it? Yeah, go ahead and hit enter. Oh, wait. Why did it... Okay. Okay, so there's the PDF. Okay, good. So now all we got to do yeah. is build that into the email. So now let's go to back to card. So X out. Should I? Okay. okay. So, so now X out of this, you already, you still have it copied because we're going to need to paste it. So, okay. so here's the deal. My communications, we have our list. We have our sequence. Those are the main two things. And again, the broadcast, you can send out a one-off email whenever you want, but it's really the list and the sequence. That's my communications. Okay. My pages are our pages, the landing page, the thank you page, the call confirm page. And then maybe the, the page that you want in your emails, we'll do that later. And then you have, you have my forms, click on my forms. This form is the form that lives on your landing page. When someone goes to your landing page, they put their name and email. That's the form. That's the form right there. It's going to always be the same form. No, you're going to create new forms for new pages, for new campaigns, a listing form, an oh. open house form, a buyer guide form. That form is what goes on the landing page. Okay. Okay. So, so that's where they enter their name and email. Um, gotcha. and, then, and, then, and then it's through that form that we tell the system, anyone who fills out this form, add them to this list. 
Oh, okay. Anyone Good. who fills out this form, send them to this thank you page. Gotcha. That's done okay. inside the form. Okay. And then my memberships, we that's where our file is at, our PDF. And then we'll have my videos. You'll start uploading videos up to here. You don't have to put them on YouTube. You could just put them straight to Kartra. And then that yeah. video can go straight to a page, whether it's a, whether it's a video that's going to go in my emails or whether it's a video that's going to go on a thank you page. Those videos are right there in my videos. And then the last one, the last one is my calendars. That right yeah. there is your calendar that you can start using for everything. Now you have a professional calendar if you didn't have one already. Well, so, I didn't. Yeah. So now you have your own calendar where, where people can schedule an appointment and then you can set a reminder. So when I, just like, just like with, with us, with you and I, when, when you schedule an appointment on my calendar, you get a booking confirmation right away. And then right. you get a reminder one hour before our call. And that, and Kartra does all that for you. Heck yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. We're going to set that all up the calendar. So about the form. So there's only one form here, but every time I do a new funnel, yes. another form will yes um, it will create another form okay yes yes so what i'm going to do here wh while we're i might as well just let's just get a second one up just just so we can really have the example i'm going to send you let me send you my um let me send you the um let me send you the listing funnel actually no because because okay. you're more you're more interested in i'll send you sellers yeah i'm interested in sellers you're interested in sellers so that's the seller guide and then I have, well, actually, no, yeah, the listing, because, yeah, because, yeah, for, yeah, so let me sell, send you the listing funnel. And again, you can change everything. This is just the template. So let okay. me, um, Chris D. Simone, S I M O N E. Okay. So now go ahead and go back to, actually, just hit refresh. Just hit refresh right here. Just refresh this page. Okay. So go ahead and hit my campaigns to the left. The number one, the red dot. Oh, the, you sent okay. me another one. Yes. And then go ahead and um, click on the available campaigns at the top, the red dot. And then let's accept this one. It's the listing funnel. So go ahead and hit the three dots, accept, and then, um, and then hit the three dots again, close this out, hit the three dots and, and deploy. So this is for a listing. So whenever you do find that seller, yeah, this is this is this is when we can start running an ads for for their property to sell their house. Okay. So Good. so in here everything is going to come over. Put a prefix and then just hit import. And again, you'll change all that. Should so I do it now? Just yeah, just do one, two, three. Do anything. Just put anything right there. Um, and then hit import. Okay. So same thing. My communications. There's now going to be a list and cannot be completely the creator's campaign has deleted one or more assets. Okay. Let me fix it. Let me fix it on my end. Let me go back into that funnel. Let me edit. Real so quick. What you're saying is if I have a listing, I would put my listing on this page. Yes. You can, you can run a Facebook ad and get that listing sold. Okay. So depending on, depending on how hot your market is, I mean, you may not even have to run an ad for a listing, but you know, if you ever wanted to, mm -hmm. you know, you could, you could totally thing, I guess. Yeah. Of course the more expensive ones take a little longer to sell, I think. Yeah. Okay. Sequence forms listing. Okay. So let's see. We should be good now. Hit it again. The Actually, three dots. no, Where's just go ahead and go back to, um, hit the three dots on the listing and just let's just delete that one. So let's, let's hit the three dots. Doesn't have delete. Go to my campaigns at the top, click on my campaigns oh. in the middle, right there, my campaigns. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go back to available campaigns. See if you can, um, see if you could delete it now. No. Try to deploy it. Let's see. Just try to deploy it then. Maybe it's the name I gave it. Prefixes are ready. Let put, me change um, put, the name. Just put number four. Put one, two, three, four. Okay. 
Okay. Because I had an extra page in there that shouldn't have been in there. Okay. So X is out. Now, all we're going to do is click on, um, click on the three dots and then go okay. ahead. Actually, you should, yeah, you should have everything. So now click on my communications to the, actually deploy. Yeah. Let's deploy it. Actually, no, we already did this. We should be fine. Hit cancel, click on my communications to the left. And let's see if the list is over here. Click on list at the top. Perfect. Okay, so there goes your there goes your list. So I'm right here, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, all you Got would it. do is just click on edit, click on edit, and just just all I do on this list, this is for a listing. So I would name the list the property address. Right. Right. Okay. Anyone that's... who inquired on a Facebook ad for this property, that's that list. Okay. You know, makes sense. So take out the one, two, three, four and, and just put, yeah, leave, leave anything else. That, you can yeah. Always, yeah. You can always change it later and then hit edit. And then um, at the top, you have communications and then you click on sequences. And what I do is I always name the list the same as the sequence. So, for example, in this case, for a listing, Again, I could probably put as many emails as I want automated in the sequence, but for sure, the first few emails, I'm trying to create urgency and get that person to schedule a showing right away, right? Like, right. So I may set up five emails to go out over the next five days, one email every day for the next five days until that person mm -hmm. schedules a showing, you know? Okay. But then again, I don't want to drop the ball because that person did show an interest, they enter their name and email, they were interested in a property, that property was sold to another family, but that person, that lead may still be looking. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to just set up, set up five emails. I want to set up 55 emails until that person. And that's how I do these emails. Now I don't do, I wouldn't do 55 all at one in one sitting, you know, I'd come back to it. It's a, the way I look at sequences. It's an, it's a, it's a living, breathing organism keep adding to them, keep adding sequences to them. You know, maybe when you catch yourself on a Sunday afternoon, when you have an hour to, to kind of spare, come in here. And if you're at five emails, come in here and add three more. Okay. Come back in next how week. Do you know how many emails you have? What's that? How do you know how many emails you have? Very good question. We'll go into that. That's the sequence. We click okay. on the pencil to the very, very right. And, and yeah. we'll go into that. Not right now, not right now, but, but that's, that's where you see it. That's where you compose the emails and that's where you set up all the emails is, is when you hit that pencil to the right. Okay. But, but right now I'm just explaining all this part and getting everything to you. So hit the, my pages to the left. Okay. So now you have the listing landing page and then you have the mm -hmm. listing. Thank you page. So, oh, yeah. so, so what I'm trying to really explain to you is the fact that all we need is Facebook ads, a landing page, and an email autoresponder. And when it comes to a landing page, there's two pages, the landing page and the thank you page. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. You can capture as many leads as you possibly can imagine. You can brand yourself and take over your local area. You can build a huge, huge business with just that. There's so mm -hmm. many fancy things in real estate, like even KB core, super fancy system. It's like, dude, all this fancy stuff doesn't capture a lead for me. No. Right. At the and end of the day, I need a freaking lead. Like that's all I need is a lead. All I need is a freaking right. lead. Right. Right. So we got to dumb so it down sometimes. This is the opt-in or that's is this the seller the guide? Right. Is this the opt-in though? What is the no. home email sequencer one? Oh, that's the first email they're going to send out. That could, that's not the first email. The very first email is the email with a link for their PDF. Okay. So, so what is this? So, so that I've got two pages here for the seller guide and I've yes. got two pages here for the um, listing, listing guide. And I've got the, um, I understand what the home call confirmed is. That's when, if they call me, um, no, we've got it. That's when no? they schedule an appointment. So okay. when they schedule right. an appointment, Watch, let me, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Stop what is, but I don't understand what this one is. That one I understand when they okay, say. Okay, that email sequence one, that's the page that later on, you don't got to do it now, but later on as we learn more about this stuff, that's the page that would go in your emails. Oh, okay. So all, right. so all you would do is, is clone it. So hit the three dots on sequence one, hit the three dots and click clone. 
clone. Let's name this one, take away the word clone, and, and take away the number one, put two. This is email sequence two. Clone. I, that's, I'm cloning it, right? Clone it, clone it, clone it. Hit the green one. So now this could be used. I can take this page and just clone it, clone it, clone it, clone it. And all I'm doing is, is email number three, email number four, email number five. Maybe I'm just changing up the headline. I'm just changing out the video, right? But I'm using the okay. same template for everything. Start tutorial. Okay. Go ahead and start tutorial. Just go, let's go through this part real quick. This is just a, a, a brief like introduction of, of each section. This is the builder. So as we come in and build out the page or change out the images or change out the text, all this mm -hmm. is doing is explaining what everything is to the left-hand side. Everything will be on the left-hand side. The settings and then hit next. And then oh, it's, have, okay. it's just telling you everything that's on the left-hand side. So go ahead and click next. I'll give you a crash course once we're in. And then sections and components. These are just different parts on how you're going to build a page. Okay. So next, 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 next. And then pop-ups. We'll, we'll go over that. But it's really just sections and components that you'll always be using. Just hit okay. next. And then up here, it's just telling you the desktop, tablet, or mobile view. You can view it how it looks on someone's mobile. Oh, um, okay. So that's the, the tabs at the top as we're in the builder. So hit next. Yeah, just keep hitting next. Keep hitting next. And then columns, components, just different parts of the page. Um, Can I work on this on an iPad? Yeah, for sure. Just okay. just know your login. Just make sure you you got the yeah. Kartra. And to, to get back to the login page, you could just go to Kartra.com. Like if you're on a different computer, just go to Kartra.com and then click on login. Okay. So hit next. So this brings us into the builder. Go ahead and click on next, click on next. Next. Where is next? Oh, there it is. Okay, so put, click on don't show again, don't show again. And then let's get started. So as yeah. you come into the builder, it's just, it's just keeping stuff simple. Like just hover over anything and, and, and you can change out the yellow. You can change out that image. You can put a video. You can hover over the title, customizing your marketing plan. You just hover over it and then hit the hover over the title and then hit the T. Scroll up, scroll up, hit the hit the T, and you can change out the title. Like this stuff is super oh, basic. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, so hit the T and you can change out the title. Change the text. Change the to text. Change. Yes, you can change that. You can change the color. You can scroll down and change out that EXP logo. You could put your company logo, like whatever. Like um, you could tie all your social media icons to all these links at the bottom. If you don't have those icons, just click on it, delete it. Okay. So very basic, very simple, and 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 super effective. So I can okay. you can just hover over it and then exit out if you want to delete. It. If you don't have a YouTube, exit out. Just X, hit that X, oh, and you would delete it. Okay. Oh yeah, cool. You know, so so very very simple. So, how would, I, how would I change the picture? Hit the edit the pencil at the bottom right there. So so that background that pencil down. This so one. you can hit that, and then you can come over here, click on background, right at the top background. Click on image, image selected. Click on that. And then you can bring over an image from your computer. You can upload an image, or you can search to the right a bunch of a bunch of cardstock images, a bunch of just stock images from Kartra. Oh, okay. Like click, click, type in Dallas right there. Mountains. Type in Dallas to the right. Oh, okay. I'm going to type in Austin because Austin, that's Austin. Type in Austin. Austin, Texas. Where's hit search? enter hit enter you might not need the comma or the tx you might have to spell it out so no comma and spell out texas so austin texas hit enter here we go so just put anything there for now just so you can get the hang of it just put grab anything grab 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 that click that and then go to the very very top click on and select it actually select it first select it oh yeah, select it and then hit confirm. And then to the very, very left, click on apply. 
see so that brings out that image now that's kind of a dull looking image but you get the point like you can find a nice image and and just use that as your background yeah 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 and i would then, as a matter of fact i took a great picture but i think a house is better here yeah but i took a picture um sunday mm -hmm. of Austin and the penny back for bridge so nice nice okay so here's here's how you exit actually you know what right there at the top this is very very important as well as i come into a new page this is normally the first thing i do is i'll click on settings to the left this is what you want to get in the habit of whenever you come into a landing page a thank you page whatever any page click on settings seo parameters okay. and change the page title the page title is the name the title that they see in the tab at the top what I see in your tabs is Zoom in one hour. I see David Cantero's personal, which is the Zoom tab, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the titles of your tab. So as someone's on this page, they're going to see the title. Just like this one at the top, it says Kartra in the tab, right? Oh, yeah. This uh -huh. is your title in your tab on this page. Would I try it into Austin's Boutique Realtor? You can, or... You could put more of a call to action. I would put schedule your call now or something like that. That's just what I would do because this is a page where I'm put I'm on video. It's I'm gonna getting be on what's that? Up. It's gonna be on their tag up here. Yeah, it's gonna be right, right there at the top. Yep. Schedule your call now or schedule your whatever. I mean, I would have something like that. That's okay. just me. Schedule your call now. And so uh, okay, so now we got that. So go to the bottom. Whenever you're in the left-hand side, always scroll to the bottom and click the green button, always, or else you're not gonna save that. So click apply. Okay. okay, now here's how you exit. Now, let me explain this part real quick. Sections and components, that's to the left. Sections and components. Those, are, the, those are really, yeah, those are really the only two things you'll ever click on. So if you open up sections and then you click on all these ones in there, click on any of them, click on, click on um, header menus, click on header menus. All this does is give you a bunch of templates and all you're doing is clicking, dragging over to the right-hand side and dropping. So let's just practice one, grab anyone, click, don't let it go, click, drag it over and drop it. And I could have put that anywhere. You could have put that anywhere, but that is the header that goes at the top. Okay. And then gotcha. what I can do is I can always delete. I can click over, you know, view demo and just delete it, get started and delete it. So just hover over it. There's the X. So you I can just see. delete it. I see. But this it. should be on my page. I should have this on my page. I mean, you, it, you can, I mean, it's up to you. This is just all preference. Like whatever the hell you want to do. Like you can get crazy with this if you wanted to. Well, if I hit home, what would it bring me to? What's that? If I hit, if, if I was a consumer mm -hmm. and I came to my page and I hit home, where would it bring me? Wherever you want. I would take them maybe to my, my Facebook business page. I would take them to maybe my YouTube channel. I would take them to maybe my reviews. I would take them to maybe my, my, the MLS. This is, but, I, but, but again, you want to be strategic on what you're doing on how you're doing it. This is when a lead is already in the system. This is a page that is going out on email number seven, for example. So at that point, I already have the lead. At that point, this is email number seven. I can maybe have some words at the top, click here to visit my website. Like I could take them wherever, wherever I want to take them now if I wanted to, or I, or I don't need to. It's up to you. I mean, it's all. I wonder how you take them there. You hover over the word, click on the pencil. Everything is about the pencil. That's how you edit everything. It's either, it's okay. either the pencil or the letter T. So there. click okay. on the pencil. Click on link and you can link them wherever you want. I can link them to another Kartra page. So click on link to another page. Yeah. If they click on it, I can have them That's slide down. I can have them scroll down. I can have them download a file. I can have a pop-up opt-in pop-up. I could do whatever. Like I can send them to another Kartra page. I can send them to my Facebook page, whatever. To your calendar, so, I can send them to my calendar. I could, I could put up there, click here to schedule your private showing, right? Yeah. Like I can, you can do whatever you want, but, but keeping it clean and, and simple. Is well, I remember all this. I'm going to have to make sure I get on those 
Kartra oh, training. Yeah, the Kartra training is every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Central time. Right are super important, but I'm going to send you this video as well. I've been recording it the whole time. So I'll send you this, this video. Um, so, so you can do whatever you want at the top. You could take them all out. You could take out that entire headline. I'm just kind of playing around with this and giving you ideas of what's, what's in here. Click on sections again to the left sections. So those are that, that's your header. That's your header. And then you got, you got hero sections. Click on that. You got all these different examples. I can click drag it over you're probably not going to need any of this stuff but i'm just i'm just showing you what's what's available like um you could just build out the entire page brick by brick and just use all these different templates so wow. at the very top click on block templates hit that arrow go back to the left so let's just go back yeah right there perfect and then and then go down hit that go down to features just different parts of a page all you do is click and drag it over. Maybe our features and, and you got four bullet points explaining the listing. You know, like, and all you do is just simply click, drag, and then just put it wherever you want. Um, yeah. Drop. And then, and then now, you know, features of 777 Plaza Boulevard. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, you could just get creative with it, but at the same time, you don't really need to. I mean, it just depends on how detailed you are, but, but I wouldn't spend much time on this stuff at all. Like it's there and the power yeah. of it all is there, but, but uh -huh. your business is more simple than, than having to create pages that look pretty. Like you ain't got time for that. Right. You know? I, but, but it's there, it's there, you know? So, so here's what we'll do. And, and then if you want to delete anything, so scroll down now we can hit that red square, hit that. That's the entire middle section that you just brought over. Hit the X to the right X and that deletes the entire section that you just brought over. So hit delete. It reminds you. So you don't make a mistake. Okay, good. Yeah. And then it just brings it and then I can delete that entire header. So if you just hover over it, you see the red square up, red square up to the right, just hover over the header. Oh, here. No, oh, no. up, 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 up to the header. Up, up. Where I'm on the header. Oh no, this, this one. Okay. There's the red square. So I can delete that entire header if I wanted to. You know, just delete the whole thing and, and, and grab a different header if I wanted to, or maybe not even put a header, you know, so, and then that yellow button, I can change the color of that yellow button. I can change the text of the yellow button, hit the pencil. Everything is about the pencil. So click on that edit. And then over here, I have the style. I have the text. I have the icon, the icon that's on it right now is a calendar. I can change that to a phone, whatever, like I can change it to a house. So very nice. So all this stuff is a one-time thing. Like once you get it done one time, then again, mm -hmm. it's a machine. You build the machine one time and we just run ads to it. That's wow. it. That's it. So this is the part that, that is a little time consuming up front. Um, and then we can start running ads to it. But okay. I just wanted to kind of get you familiar with, with Kartra and, and this entire page builder and the sequences and the list um, and, and then your calendar. So Here's what we'll do now. Let's so here's how we exit a page. Very, very important. Here's how we exit a page. Remember, the first thing I do is always hit settings, change the page title, which is what we did. So so make sure you get in the habit of doing that on all your pages. And then once we're done, change the title. Yeah, you already did. So what? SEO parameters. No, you already changed it. So but yeah, I'm I know. just saying is that the one that I changed? No, yeah, I scroll up to the I... top. Yep, go to the top. Right there, oh, schedule yeah. your okay. call now. So I always so, make sure I do that on every page. Yeah, you don't have to put schedule your call now, but but whatever the page oh. is, a listing, whatever, like okay. just name it whatever the heck okay. that page is. So okay. in this case, you create everything and then you can just clone it over and over and over, clone it, clone it, clone it. And it's all, everything stays the same. It, you're just That's duplicating great. the page. So yeah. here's how you exit a page. Here's what's very, very important on how you exit a page. It's a three okay. click exit. There's you're clicking three times. So hit actions in the top, right? You're going to click three times. And here, here are the three. You're going to say progress, publish live, and then return to dashboard. So let's X out right here. We just save progress. Let's click it mm -hmm. again, publish live. And when I publish live, what I end up doing is I end up customizing the link. So publish live. 
And then now the page is live. So what I can do now is get the page link, go ahead and get the page link, and then hit this pencil right here to change out that QU410 or the 7QU. So edit, change Why out am that. I yeah, change that out. Customize it. Make it sound better. Make it email number one or, or, or seller tip number one or whatever. Like this is a page for the email. So seller tip number three or whatever. Like you'll just start to customize this and name it whatever that page is. Okay. Okay. So so just put for now, put email number one, whatever. Just you can always change it. So email one, email one. You can always change it. So So now copy that. Open up in a new tab, copy that link. So just open up in a new tab and then there goes, there goes your page. So what we got to do next is we still, we still have, cause we could be on this call for a long time. So I don't want to overwhelm us. So let's schedule another call. We need one more call to finalize this cartridge stuff. And then, and then we can run this ad okay. because, because what I need you to, what I need you to do is, is what I'm going to help you do is go through these sequences. We need to set up these emails and then we also mm -hmm. have to set up your calendar. And okay. that's like a whole nother hour long before call. So wow. before we do the ad. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, as leads start to come in, these leads need to get emails. No, I agree. I you know? agree. Okay. So, so, so there goes the page live. And, and when they click on that button, they'll go to your calendar, but we got to set up your calendar first. So, okay. so let's set up our next call. Let's set up our next call. Just, just go back to my link and, and just whatever you want. Let's get it tomorrow, the next day, whatever. But we need oh, okay. we need at least one more call for Kartra, and then and then we can we can we can start running running ads. Okay, I have so, a few things going on tomorrow. Perfect. I'm, Sounds I'm just, good. Sounds good. So let's yeah. chat then, and then we'll finalize that Kartra and get this thing going. Okay. Cool. So can I schedule from here or no? Can you what? I got, can I schedule you from here? Um, Wait here. You actually go to. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do it from here, but just go to um, and then this is my call confirm page. Yeah, cool. So, so that page, this page is so important because this page we also set up in our Facebook Ads Manager. Anyone who lands here now, they're on a list in Kartra for sure. They're on a list. They're on my scheduled appointment list. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my Ads Manager. I also set up a custom audience for anyone who lands here. They're also appointments. And the reason why that's important in my ads manager is because now as I run future ads, I can exclude anyone who landed here because oh, Christine, good. she's already a client. Christine uh, already yeah. set an appointment. Uh, like Christine doesn't need to keep seeing my Facebook ads. So you have that already set up in Kartra? Not Kartra, Facebook ads. It's we're talking two different things. Yes, in oh, Kartra, you're on my scheduled appointment list. Yes, right. But I'm talking about something different. I'm talking about Facebook ads. Those who land okay. here are now in a separate audience. Now, with that right. audience, I call them appointments. With that mm. audience, I can exclude from seeing future ads. I gotcha. Right. You don't, like, I don't need to show you any more Facebook ads. You're already a client. Right. So I need to tell that to Facebook. I need to say, hey, whoever lands here, make sure you put them in this audience. Now let me exclude them from ever seeing another ad. Wow. wow. <laughs> and that's why with KB Core, that's why the second page, the second page is the most important. So as you take me to your KB Core page, I enter my information. For some reason, I don't go to a second page. Facebook wow. needs to know that second page, right? Wow. So, so, so you set it up or you have to set it up that it alerts Facebook. Yes. Like that's, that's custom audiences, which we, we set up actually, no, that's our next call. So now that we have Kartra, now that we have these pages inside of Kartra, now yeah. we can take a, we bookmarked everything. Watch, go to your bookmarks. We bookmarked the, the page for custom audiences now that we have our pages up, now our pages aren't finally, they're not fully customized just yet, but, yeah, but at least we have our pages. Now that we yeah. have our pages, now we can go into custom audiences and start putting them all, put all of our pages in the audiences and start naming them. 
Oh, good. Okay. That's why Kartra was so important. That's why the pages, we need to be able to put them over here and, and name this audience leads, name this audience, people who scheduled an appointment, name this audience, people who landed on the webpage, but never opted in. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we can segment these different people based on what pages they're landing on, because that's mm -hmm. going to allow us to run more effective Facebook ads. All see, right. So right here, this is where we'll start to see a list of all your audiences, people who landed on your thank you page, people who landed on your landing page, people who, who, who landed on your email page. Yeah. Those are all I think, audiences. I think I'll understand it more when we actually when we get in. Yep. Yeah. Yes. When we, when I have a list, some kind of list. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that on our next call. So so schedule that. Yeah. Actually, it's already scheduled, and then we'll, we'll chat then. I scheduled it, but in case yeah. something comes up, um, I can just – do I get back on your calendar and reschedule? No, just shoot Will me you an email. Shoot me an email, email with, with, your, with your next best time, and I'll reschedule it on my end. All right. I'm hoping it works tomorrow because I'd yeah. like to get this. Open, but. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, Christine. Sounds Talk to you soon. Good. Bye -bye. Okay, talk to you. Bye-bye.